A suspected peeping Tom will not be getting a good look at anything except a jail cell tonight. Police arrested David Bloodworth this afternoon on voyeurism charges. Our Alex Tomlin was there as he was hauled off to jail and he had some strange things to say. Dick, David Bloodworth's statements to me were more like ramblings. He said he was sorry, but it's anyone's guess who he's saying sorry to. David Bloodworth seemed tight-lipped when he was brought out of police headquarters in handcuffs tonight. Did you stare at those women? But all of the sudden, Good luck. which had me begging to know what he was wishing me luck for. Finding happiness. Finding happiness? Yes. What is happiness, Mr. Bloodworth? Mm, I don't know. You don't know? I'm trying that myself. Bloodworth reportedly peeked over, ducked under, and did anything he could to get a glimpse of women in bathroom stalls at three different locations in town over the past week. This is video from the Target on Paseo, where Bloodworth was confronted after coming out of the ladies' bathroom this weekend. Online court records show he's also charged with voyeurism last year in Albuquerque and is wanted in Tucum Carry for violating his probation on a peeping Tom conviction there. Are you guilty of this? Or is there anything you want to say? I'm, that... I'm sorry for the things that I am guilty of. You're sorry for what are those? Um, lots of things, huh? Lots of things? Everybody does wrong, yes. Yeah. Would, um, you, would you want to say anything to those women? I'm sorry. You're sorry? To the women that I have offended, yes. But anyone else, uh, you know. But then Bloodworth makes it hard to understand who he's really saying sorry to and why. What about the people who weren't at Target? What about them? Uh, those are the people I'm saying I'm sorry to. Police tracked Bloodworth down in his ex-girlfriend's home in Rio Rancho using his license plate number. A Target worker wrote it down after he bolted from the store. Dick? All right, Alex, Rio Rancho police say they have two unsolved voyeurism cases in that city, but they don't know yet if Bloodworth is their guy. In case you're wondering, people convicted of voyeurism do not have to register as sex offenders.